It's day two of the Walmart FLW Tour open on Lake Gunnersville, and the story is all about Paul Elias and the pro debut of the Alabama rig. Similar to an umbrella rig used for saltwater trolling or striped bass, the Alabama rig features multiple wire leaders allowing an angler to put as many as five lures on a rig, and it's suited for casting tackle. So instead of fishing one lure, you're essentially fishing a whole school of lures. At first glance, the Alabama rig may look a little crazy, but now that tournament leader Paul Elias has sacked 55 pounds of bass on it in two days, the Alabama rig has become the talk of the town at Lake Gunnersville. I guess the word's out on what I'm doing. You know, I'm throwing an Alabama rig. Uh, it's a new type rig that uh, some guy from over around Pickwick came up with, and uh, <laughs> it's just an amazing deal. Uh, I mean, you got to fish it. You know, it's, it's kind of like a crankbait sometimes, you know, where you got to. You can't always catch them on it unless you're doing it right. So you got to be doing it right. But you know, I, I've I've been very fortunate this week. Uh, when I got on that pattern, I just stayed with it and found as many places as I could find, and I didn't hurt anything else today. I stay. I fished the same three places I fished yesterday. So uh, you know, I feel like I got enough fish. I don't know how many boats are going to be on the water, with how many tournaments are going to be out tomorrow. But you know, I feel like if I don't get too crowded with it I can catch them uh, but you know it all depends on the current the current is a major deal we had a lot of we had a lot of current today up till about two o'clock and that really that really helped me a lot you know I'm throwing that thing is very hard to throw and I I'm throwing it on a on a seven foot 11 inch pinnacle uh, heavy flipping rod and I'm and I'm throwing I'm throwing it on a 6.4 pinnacle reel and I'm, I'm using 65 pound uh, ultra cast floor braid on the, on the rig and, and I, so I you know I can manhandle the fish when they bite it uh, and they man they really just annihilate it when they get it and I, and I you know I, I lost the first two that hit this morning and I know they were both five plus and it just made me sick I wanted to puke because I, I let a term I didn't lead a tournament here last year but I had 27 pounds the first day and I went out the second day and, and I lost every fish between five and eight pounds a bit and that was like six or seven fish i came in with 19 pounds and should have had 30. so i you know i, I was praying that wouldn't happen again but the lord took care of me uh you know i'm having i'm having one of those tournaments <laughs> that you just kind of say thank you lord and let's keep going you know i'm just going i'm gonna be chunking and winding for two more days i hope you get sore chunking that thing i mean it, it looks like it's a it's I have a thrown, whale to throw i have thrown that thing since about noon Sunday, and and my 60-year-old butt has wore out. I'll tell you that right now. You got two more days. You think you I, can handle it? I can handle it, but if they, especially if those size fish keep biting. And I and I left a spot today that I really got to feel like it's got a lot of potential. And I, I had too much traffic back and forth, and I said, I'm. Every time I'd make a cast, I'd have to, I'd get it in. I'd have to lay my rod down so nobody'd see what I was doing, you know. And I, so I, I uh, if I, I'm just gonna settle down and fish tomorrow and let whatever happens as far as people looking just let them look because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch what I can catch tomorrow and I, I caught the, both of those real big ones and probably my three biggest fish off of that spot and my partner caught one about five pounds off of that spot and, and I didn't mess with it anymore so how yeah. quick are you getting your limit it took me a little longer today because I didn't start fishing till nine yesterday and I had it by 9 30 but or quarter to ten but uh, it, it probably took me uh, I caught a limit while y'all were there, so probably an hour, hour and a half, you know, but, but it, you know, they bit, you know, I quit catching them when they, where they were. I could see them on the depth finder. I mean, they were, they were still there, but I just kind of backed off of them. And I, I gave my partner one of the rigs and I tried to help him really, after I got all that weight, I tried to help him the rest of the day and he, he didn't, he managed to catch two, but it, it was, uh, his was a little different because I'm running out of what I'm using on mine, and so I couldn't really hook him up like I was hooked up. But, but uh, you know, it's just an awesome dude. One last question. I know you won't say what's on the back of that Alabama rig, but give us a cost of all those baits. There's five baits on there. If, if you lost one of those, how much money are we talking about in baits on that Alabama rig? <laughs> it's got to be the most expensive lure in bass fishing. Well, down. you know, I don't know. Probably it's a, it's probably a $30 Right, thirty dollars. You yeah, know, with everything on it. But I, I, uh, you know, I've been fortunate. I hadn't lost a rig, you know. But but I, I uh, hung it up a few times. My partner lost one of my best, one of my main rigs today, and 
Uh, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that, that I, I ordered some stuff and I hope it comes in today. But, you know, it is what it is. So, if I, you know, I think if I can do something like that two more days, it shouldn't be a problem. How many do you have rigged up in the boat on your rods? Just two? I just had two and I yeah. gave him one of them to use yeah. since 10 o'clock. Yeah. You know, so I threw the same one. Do they, do they bite a certain one? Like every time? Is no, there, I've tried to there? notice that. It's, it's, it's just it's totally no. random? Yeah, it's, it it's totally random. Sometimes there's two of them in their mouth. And, you know, and I doubled today with a four pounder and a three and three quarter pounder, and I couldn't use either one of them. I was going to ask, how often do you double up? Not very often. Not very I've only often. done it twice since the tournament started, and I did it about four times in practice, and they were smaller fish when I did that. Today started out good. First stop, second cast, I caught a two and a half pounder. Two casts later, seven pounder hits me at the boat, and I get it in, and and um, I'm fishing shallow off in the morning. And then I went out to my deep spot and uh, caught a four and a half. And then, you know, so we're here at 14 pounds at eight eight o'clock, and then it's a quarter to two before I catch my next keeper. And, it, and you just have to keep the faith. You know, you can't get all nervous. You can't run all over the lake. You just got to go where you know to fish. And um, I was just blessed enough. Uh, at a quarter to two, I caught my fourth fish, and then I went back to my sweet spot, and they decided to show up, and it was bam, bam, bam for the co-angler and myself. It looks like this tournament's gonna kinda be the unveiling of the uh, Alabama rig. I noticed you were throwing it today. Yeah. Um, I believe after this tournament, it's really gonna be over. <laughs> it's I mean, it's, it's been, it's the last couple of weeks, it's been coming out, but you know, it, it's it's just a funny looking thing and, and a lot of people don't take it serious or haven't taken it serious yet, but it's I think that's about to be over with. The, um, I know what you put on the back of it. You don't have to go into that right now, but uh, just give us some general tackle. I mean, that thing's giant. I mean, you got to have some big saltwater type tackle to throw that thing with. I mean, what, like what kind of rod and, and, and line are you putting on that rig? Well, I've got a seven and a half foot I think it's a heavy rod. It's got a little bit of tip on it, and um, you don't want to throw anything less than 80-pound braid okay. because when you get it hung up, it, it, costs, it costs a little bit of money to buy. <laughs> so you want to make sure you can pull it off a stump or rock or whatever without losing a whole bunch of it. Um, the, bait, the bait on the back, you know, you, the more you throw it, the more you experiment, the more you have confidence with this, that, and the other thing. and you know, whether the fish like what I'm throwing, I like what I'm throwing, so I keep throwing it, and I think that's what counts. Do you, do you, let me ask you this, do you vary what's on there? You give a little different offering all the way around, or you put all the same? No. Or is that one of the things? Well, that <laughs> that's one of the learning curves. Yeah. I used to use all the same, and now I've actually got two rigs tied on, um, this one with this, this one with that, and, and then all of these on this one aren't the same, you know, and... It, it, you'd be amazed that you basically have one one bait surrounded by four, and you'll be surprised at how often the fish comes and get the one in the middle okay. and misses the outer ones because you got something different on it. Oh, I got you. So I got you. Um, it's it's just you know. You catch any doubles on it? No, I haven't yet. Okay. I have not yet, and I don't know if it can handle double fours and fives. But I know it can, but um, <laughs> it I haven't, but. I'm waiting for the double sevens to show up. Right, right. There, hence the 80-pound braid. Yeah, that's right. That's right.